journey began with Eva YouTube series. Well, I understand that I've been away for quite a long time. More than four weeks is not a short time. I was even afraid of mentioning it in my previous video, which I posted a few days ago. I don't know how many of you have watched that video. It's an amazing video whereby I go to try out zip lining. I overcame one of my phobias, which is which is height phobia. Well, <laughs> to be honest with you guys, it was a scary but an exciting experience. I also got an opportunity of interviewing a professional zip liner. So if you want to learn some basic facts about zip lining, well, you spare some time, watch that video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment there, and above all, please consider subscribing and joining this amazing family of happy people, supportive people, people who are ready to conquer life together and become a better version of themselves. Well, for the new members, our major goal in this channel is travel, lifestyle, and inspiration. We travel to different destinations, we explore and share our experiences, and we also share our daily life occurrences, things which affect our daily lives positively, negatively, things which make us happy and happy. We share our experiences and try to learn from each other. We also try to inspire and motivate each other to become a better version of ourselves. I hope that gives you enough reason to consider joining this amazing journey began with Eva YouTube family. So how are you guys doing? How have you been? I've really missed you guys, my YouTube family. You know, you have a special place in my heart. I adore you guys because the far we have come, if it wasn't for you guys holding my hand, we wouldn't be where we are today. In this video, I'm hoping to share with you some of the bittersweet lessons that I've been able to pick along the way in my content creation journey. Number one, vlogging is difficult. Yes, I have tried it and it is not easy. Especially if you do not have your own car, if you do not have the resources to hire a car to take you around as you create content, then vlogging might end up being a nightmare to you. Another thing, people here in Africa don't like being seen on camera. So you will have to be seeking permission from everyone because you might provoke some people and they might come for you. So when you go out creating content, be very careful because some people might turn against you. Always seek permission. Again, read the YouTube guidelines. You can't just capture people without their consent. So you have to talk to people. You have to make them understand what you're doing because blogging is not yet popular here in Africa especially here in Ukambani region. People will stare at you. People might even decide to attack you. It is not easy. So if you are planning to start vlogging, you have to understand that it will not be an easy task. I have been there myself. I have tested the waters. And my dear friends, it is not easy. You have to have your courage at a hundred. Your confidence has to be at 110 percent otherwise you're <laughs> you just go into the streets and you come back to the house with no content whatsoever so remember let no one lie to you that vlogging is easy vlogging is not easy vlogging is difficult well number two content burnout is real content burnout means that Sometimes you just feel like not creating content. You will feel bored. You will feel depressed. Sometimes you'll be under pressure from your viewers because they want more content from you and you are not able to give them the content. And sometimes it might even affect your mental stability. That's why you have to be very careful. That's why it's advisable to have a content creation calendar. Personally, I do not have one. I'm still 
trying to strategize, trying to plan around how to go about my content creation journey. And well, hopefully soon I'm going to come up with one. So it is okay to take a break. It is okay to just step back from content creation, go back, reignite yourself, go back, re-strategize, replan your content and come back when you're ready to bring your people amazing content. It is not a matter of life and death. Don't be too hard on yourself. After all, YouTube is not going anywhere. So at times, you know, you know, some people are really focused on the numbers. Some people are really focused on the income until they forget about their well-being. So as a content creator, remember that you have a responsibility of taking care of yourself. You have your personal life as you and you have your life as a content creator. So separate that to have boundaries. Otherwise, you're going to be struggling all through. This YouTube journey is not an easy journey as I always tell you guys. If you want to succeed here in this YouTube, it's something that you have to face full throttle. It's something that you need to think through. You need to plan. You need to strategize because the competition is real. But remember, you still have that uniqueness in you. You still have that genesis qua in you. That one thing which makes you stand out, which means that there is an audience out there waiting to consume your content. Another thing is you should have a niche. You should try as much as possible to carve out your small space here in YouTube and perfect what you are doing. You'll not be all over. You can't be a master in everything. You can't master everything. So you have to specialize in one thing you have a passion for, which you feel that it will bring out your best self. So if you are into cooking, major into cooking. If you are good in a DIY, focus on DIY. If you want to be an um, entertaining um, channel, focus on entertainment. If you want to be inspiring people, focus on inspiration. If you want to be an educational channel, focus on educational content. So you have to carve out your small space in this YouTube platform. Don't be discouraged that this platform is saturated. No. Embrace your uniqueness. You still have that special thing in you. That thing which makes people keep coming back to watch your content. So embrace your uniqueness which goes hand in hand with identifying your niche. So niche goes hand in hand with having, uh, embracing your uniqueness. So yes, we are talking about some of the lessons which I have picked along the way in this YouTube journey. I mentioned about vlogging. We talked about having a niche. Now let's get to collaborations. Yes, collaborations are a great way of growing your channel, but they can either build you or destroy you. You have to be very keen when you are approaching a person to do a collaboration with. First of all, let me make this clear. Not everyone will embrace your idea. In fact, you'll send emails and people will not reply. You try calling them, they will ignore your calls. But believe in yourself. Don't lose hope. Keep calling. Keep sending those emails. At some point, someone will reply. Someone will pick your call. Then when you go for that collab, ensure that you are well prepared. Ensure that you have something tangible to present to that person. Don't just ask for, that, for a collaboration. Then you just go there and you have nothing to say. You are not adding any, any value to uh, that person. It has to be like a win-win situation. That person has to gain as you gain also 
from that person you are doing a collaboration with so be very keen when you're requesting for collaboration and again you have to understand that content creation has faces if you are a beginner you just at the discovery stage you try it's a trial and error most of the things you have no idea on how to go about them so what do you need to do put on hold requesting for collaborations my advice would be just learn the basic threads first understand how to hold your camera understand how to how to set up for content creation understand the basics because there's a lot to learn as far as content creation is concerned every day is a learning day so before you ask for any collaboration ensure that you're well prepared and you have something tangible you have something that will add value to the person you're requesting to have a collaboration with so you will realize that every day as you keep creating you'll be learning something new you'll be becoming better at what you're doing don't worry too much and don't be jealous of other people who are already successful instead be jealous in a positive way have that desire to learn and improve on yourself it is a learning journey it is a learning process every day you are making small steps it's like a baby growing today you learn about how to have good lighting in your videos the other day you learn about how to have good audio in your videos the other day you learn to how to do good b-rolls the other day you learn about how to perfect your editing skills well content creation is a learning journey so the more you create the more you learn and if you take care of the basics if you give your best then the results will take care of themselves then well if you think one video two videos five videos will make you go viral that's not the case you have to keep creating initially you will not get the views that one i guarantee you unless you are a celebrity and you already have an established audience out there you'll have to work extra harder if you're starting out as a beginner content creator so you have to keep listening to your audience walk the journey with your audience because they are the people who make you who you are you don't create your content for yourself you create your content for them to watch so always ask yourself why am i creating this video of what value is this video to my viewers personally that is what i'm working on quality above quantity not just create because you have to create you have to think through because what you're creating is not for yourself you are creating the content for your audience that's why you should always factor in your audience when you are creating content for your channel because they make you who you are they are the people who, who keep coming back to watch your content then content creation requires discipline i don't know whether you have heard this from other creators but yes content creation if you want to be successful if you want to maximize if you want to earn and make an impact in this youtube platform you have to take content creation seriously that's why i mentioned having a schedule having a calendar for your content then uh, narrowing down to a niche which you feel that you are comfortable creating content in and having the desire to keep learning and improving on yourself because everything you are evolving as a content creator you'll start as a beginner then you'll start perfecting one two three things as time goes by and uh, you will reach a time where you'll be like now i am comfortable creating content and i am making the amount i envisioned making as well as making that impact which i prayed for well i wish you all the best in your content creation journey as i wish myself too i hope you've learned something from this video this was meant to be just a short comeback video because i've been away for too long remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed watch my other videos get to know me get to know what i'm all about and let's catch up 
in my next one. From me to you, it's a goodbye. And before I go, always remember to be kind to other people because currently people are going through a lot of hard times. Well, see you in my next one. Thank you.